Welcome back to the Web Access channel. My name is Alex, and in this video, we'll be getting into the first real level one rope maneuver. And it's going to be the rope to rope transfer. Let's go. So, why would I need to get into another set of ropes? For instance, I need to work underneath a platform, but my only real access is from here. I go underneath the platform and I can lower the ropes through the grating or some little holes or whatever. So I need to transfer here to do my work down there. How do I go about doing this? And why do I do it in this way? This is a small rope to rope transfer. There is a difference between small and large. And the difference is if I can grab it, it's a small rope to rope transfer. So this is just about on the edge of what is small. The Irata ICOP states that the distance from the anchor point should not be more than 1.5 meters, and we're just about there. So I can grab these ropes and transfer over. The other consideration is what will happen if my rope will break? Where will I swing against? If this wall would be here, then I might want to treat this as a large rope to rope transfer. There is an extra step you have to do with a large rope to rope transfer, but we'll get into that in that video. So what do I do? I grab my ropes where I want to go to. I take one of the ropes and I decide I want this to be my new working line. I put that in my chest ascender, give it a little pull. I can actually let go of this one because right now it's real easy to reach because I'm already a little bit closer. So I'm partly suspended in my crawl. I'm going to need my hand descender anyway to transfer back over. So I hope I get that. Lock all the beaners. Put my foot in. Give it a li little bit of tension. And the easiest way is we always want to work with gravity, not against. So I could start climbing, but I would be getting some swinging going, in, going on, and we always want to minimize that. So what I do, it's fairly easy. I have my chest ascender, my hand ascender, and now I just lower into the new set of ropes. Now, what I would like to teach is like that when you're midway to transfer, so it should be a little bit further, Midway the transfer, I can start moving my back up to the new set. Why? If I would take this back up off, I'm suspended in two points of attachment, which is good. If this one would fail, I would swing that way, but I will not hit the wall. So I'm still safe. If this one would fail, I would swing out into the free space as well. So no issues there. The swing either way is smallest. I could lower into this rope or this rope on this side easily, but then if my main line would break at the most inopportune moment when we don't want it, well, we never want a line to break, but you get my drift, then I would have a bigger swing. Right now, I have the smallest swing possible, so I'm in most control, and that's what we want. Okay? Now, before I do the transfer of the backup, uh, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video is Industrial Klimme, and as you can see behind me, Industrial Klimme is a beautiful training center sit situated in the Netherlands, just above Amsterdam. They provide IRATA training, GWO training, working at heights training, anything related to working safely. There's a beautiful web store, no, there's a beautiful physical store next door, and there's also a web store where you can Come in to check out all the gear they are providing. Check out the link in the description for a nice little discount code. If you enter the coupon code, you will get a discount. So read the description. Now, I'm midway my transfer. I take off my backup device, move it over to the new set of ropes. Lock it, check it, continue my descent in. and I have fully moved into a new set of ropes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to always be notified when we release a new video. Until the Rope Access Library is finished, we'll be releasing three videos per week. So stay up to date. Tell your friends, tell the world, let's grow the channel. Okay, so I need to go down here. I take out my descender. I put it on the rope where I want to transfer into. And how you should do this, you can check it in the video right there. We're going to change over from descender to, from ascender to descender, I'm sorry. Make the distance as short as possible. Manage my backup, lock to the ID. Get into my foot loop. Step out of my crawl, close it. Sit down and I already got it. I can take off the hand ascender, store it back on my harness on the gear loop. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.